Trouble had been expected and it arrived right on cue. After the lead protesters moved away from the Labour Ministry, a hardcore launched a frontal assault on riot police guarding the building. The police responded with tear gas, pepper spray and stun grenades. The demonstration split in two and some anarchists headed into the entertainment district of Ghazi and smashed up banks and restaurants. It was a violent end to a peaceful protest about a terrible assault on a campaigning trades unionist. Konstantina Kunova, a 44-year-old Bulgarian, was attacked by a gang in December. She had acid thrown over her face and was forced to drink acid. She has been in intensive care ever since, has lost the use of one eye, and according to her mother Eleanor, who was at the front of the parade, is extremely poorly. She's fighting for her life and I'm with her every day in hospital. I'm hoping that she's going to be okay, but it's going to take a very long time. Mrs. Kunova's supporters believe she was attacked because she was fighting for the rights of mainly immigrant cleaners working in government institutions. According to her lawyer, she was trying to stop a scam by which subcontractors were cheating the cleaners and forcing them to work at slave labor rates. The attack to her is an attack to all of us. The Kunova case is a clear uh, case of um, employer terrorist against the working class. I am angry about this society. Some analysts believe that the riots that swept Greece in December have run out of steam, but these latest incidents show that the social tension is bubbling away, in the capital at least. Malcolm Brabant, BBC News, Athens.